right, so we just finished up with the Vermilion Cliffs. We just went over a pass, and we're about 20 minutes into uh, Page. Uh, you'll see all of that. In the meantime, Jackson is quite fascinated. I think over the last night or two, we picked up a mouse, and uh, I think the mouse may be in here because Jackson's looking for it. Where's the mouse, Jackson? Is it in there? You smell it, yeah, get, yeah. After visiting Horseshoe Bend, next on the agenda is Page, Arizona. First order of business, getting a new set of tires. Well, we're here finally springing on almost 600 bucks for new tires. That's a tough one to bite into, but uh, we needed them. So good thing was they were out of the, the cheap, cheaper tires or not the cheaper but the the tires that he had quoted us the price on uh so he only had three of them not four so he upgraded us to a better tire for the same price so can't really complain about that whenever i am stuck in Page, Arizona, near the Vermilion Cliffs, with a leaky power steering box, I use Lucas Oil Products Incorporated to stop my leak. Yes, I do. This commercial has been brought to you by Bill Marr, who made uh, the suggestion. Thank you very much. Okay, this is our first night at a Walmart, believe it or not, way in Page, Arizona. Uh, man, it's a zoo here. It's really populated, popular, uh, I guess because we're so close to the Grand Canyon and uh, the lakes. But um, this is like, there were a lot more people here a little while ago and they left. But I, I think more people may come in later on tonight or this afternoon. But yeah. Should be an interesting tonight. We'll see how noisy it is later. Of course, I'm just relaxing, listening to rockabilly with beer at Walmart. The next morning, we found a beautiful little park right in the heart of Page, Arizona. And I tell you, after being in the rocky desert for a while, this lush green grass was something that all three of us enjoyed. It even gave me an opportunity to lay out all of my solar gear and batteries to charge everything up while I taught English classes. Once done, Marvin and I went across the street to an incredibly delicious barbecue restaurant. So if anybody likes Texas barbecue, this is the place. Okay, so the day ends for Marvy and me from driving up uh, from the Vermilion Cliffs into Page. We got a bunch of supplies and then we spent the day swimming. And now we're at a little spot called the Beehive, which is a free campground with no facilities operated by the National Park Service. And so you, the rule is to camp here, you have to have a toilet, a portable toilet, something authorized by them. And I spoke with them and that could be even as much as these really strong plastic bags with a heavy duty zip. Um, and then they have a double bag inside with some kind of a powdery chemical, which solidifies stuff that should be solidified to begin with. But as long as you have that, he said, that's fine. Um, it's not a beautiful site by any means. It's got six spots or seven or eight in a circle. 
I don't know. But anyway, um, this is where it is. But what's great about it is we've got, when we got here, it was empty. And we managed to get just the greatest uh, view um, of Lake Powell. So once again, that's Lake Powell and the main highway is between us and them. So that's not necessarily a great thing. However, um, that's the entrance to the park to go into Lake Powell. But since Moi has a senior pass, it's free. So. This is actually the perfect time for the desert. Uh, uh, late September, it's just a perfect temperature in, during the day. Not cool, not hot. And in the evenings, it cools down to be just a wonderful sleeping temperature. No rain. And the colors are just beautiful. So let's crest this little rise and Oh my gosh, beautiful. Marvie will have to do this with me in the morning, I think. I just have to pump her with enough coffee and she'll do it. Okay, there's no music right now because I'm here doing this, but I think I'm going to put some really kind of nice background music. So if you didn't notice it, hopefully there'll be some subtle music lying underneath my footsteps and my narrative here. Awesome, but that's a good word. I'm going to just be quiet for a minute with no music. Let you enjoy the quiet here. Oh, this is kind of like a bowl. I didn't even notice that. Uh, let me get in the shade here. Let the camera adjust. This is so cool. It's almost like puff pastry with all of its layers and kind of a light mocha. Nope, not quite an echo. And it just comes right around here. So the next morning we decided to go find a place to swim. We needed a place that didn't have a lot of sand because of Jackson. That would have been very difficult bringing, having him bring all of the sand into the van. 
So we found the perfect place and it is the very last exit as you go in from Page towards the dam. It's got a sign for hiking and it's got an image of two hikers. And if you just follow the gravel road no more than a half a mile, uh, you will arrive at a place where you can park your vehicle and then walk down some of the rocks to the lake. And so as you can see here, the road itself is, is kind of a very easy gravel road to drive down and it'll take you you can see the the dam right in front of us but we are going just right to the other side of the dam um, where you're actually permitted to swim and there are a lot of local folks here that swim too so we were very excited to arrive and go swimming All right, we found a swimming hole close to uh, um, the dam, right at uh, the very beginning or end, depending on how you look at it, of Lake Powell. It's not your conventional area. It's probably more local people know where it's at. Uh, of all of the van life people I've watched, they kind of just go to the same beach, which is very sandy. Uh, we wanted this for the formation, so it looks pretty cool. So here we go down to the water. It's kind of crowded down there, but it's all right. Okay. Okay. It's down here. Yeah, where are we going? Where do you think we're going? We're going to the right, Jax. Yeah, come. I know. Come on, Jax. Come here, come on. We'll go over here. There you go. Hi there. Nice of you to join us. We're down at Lake Powell taking a swim after a very hot day. It's been great. So Jackson's in the water. Jackson's out of the water. Marvy's in the water. And I am soon to be in the water. So we'll probably stay here for a couple days. I think if we can't find a place to park, then we will go to... Uh... <laughs> No, no. We'll, we'll go to the Walmart and I'm waiting for Jackson who's right there to knock the GoPro in um, the water but we might come swimming here every day bring some lunch and spend the day uh, are you photo bombing come here come get, 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 get go get him he's over there so um, I think that'll be it for today I don't know if we'll do the Walmart thing or we may find some camping but we'll spend another hour here swimming and uh, we'll see you guys later. This water is just amazing. We can. Keep it's talking. a recommendment for coming and um, uh, visit over here or around. It's a beautiful view and such an amazing uh, lake. If you can get the trip, coming over. See you later. Bye. And our last stop in the Page area was going to be the Glen Canyon Dam. Construction on the dam started in 1957, which actually gave birth to the town of Page. And uh, we went to the visitor center, which is a Carl 
Hayden Visitor Center. Carl Hayden was a senator from Arizona that worked a lot with the water rights in the northern part of the state. We were even treated to some dinosaur tracks that they have mounted right in front of the visitor center. And another fun thing that happened to us on the way into the visitor center was we were able to see a uh, Corvette club that were made up from people from all over the United States traveling and seeing different things together. They were all really fun people and they have some beautiful, if you're a car person, uh, there were some amazing um, Corvettes to, to look at. Some of them were extremely, extremely expensive. But the time came for Marvy and I to buy our tickets and head down into the dam where we would walk across the top of the dam to the center and then descend all the way down to the bottom where the generators are. On the top of the dam, it was extremely windy, and uh, but we got to see some of the construction tools that were used to build the dam, including these huge containers that hauled the concrete down from where they mixed the concrete to dump into the dam. And an interesting fact behind that was that they had to use ice to keep it from becoming too hot so that the concrete would cure quicker. Here is one of the original turbines that was used uh, that the water actually hits and spins in order to drive the shaft in a circular motion to generate electricity. At this point, you have a pretty good idea of how massive the Glen Canyon Dam is. It's not the biggest uh, dam in the world, uh, but sitting on top of it, it's very impressive. On one side is straight down to the generators and the Colorado River, and then on this side, you see Lake Powell. And directly across is actually where Marvy and I went swimming uh, that you saw earlier in the video. This is the middle part of the dam and the main entrance where we would take the elevator all the way down through the center of the dam uh, to where the generators are. Again, if you look on either side of this, you can see the Colorado River as it comes out of Lake Powell and how steep the sides of the dam actually are and the visitor center up top.
sandstone retains a lot of the heat from the sun. So what happens is it's just warm enough to let that... And once inside in the powerhouse at the bottom of the dam, you can see the eight generators. Now, these generators only supply power to two million people. The main function of the dam is as a reservoir that regulates which states get how much water uh, based on their needs and the growth of each state. The other interesting thing is as a result of global warming and fluctuations in water tables and the amount of rain and runoffs, there are actually legal actions that are being discussed as far as draining these dams and emptying these reservoirs. But regardless, our time is up on page. We have to head north from here, but we really enjoyed the town and would love to leave you with this little comic situation we ran into right before we left.